Leverage is how you take something you do and multiply your activity, right? So for example, is this communication I'm doing with you right now more valuable than a blog post on this topic? I think so. If a blog post is one point, I'm thinking a video like this is worth five or 10 points. Not to mention some of you, on average, you're going to watch this for 10, 20, 30 minutes of an hour-long podcast. A blog, a blog post you might read for a minute. So I don't know the exact math there, but I also am leveraging this because I'm talking to not just one of you, I'm talking one to many, right? Right now we have 29 people live on the Zoom. We have people on YouTube. We have people on Facebook and LinkedIn. And so the goal is for me to leverage. So you have the uh, contact one, this call, times the quality, hopefully the video is more valuable than a blog post or an email, times the leverage. And literally, I believe, you know, I calculate out that my time each hour I spend is worth 14 hours when I leverage it properly. So if I'm doing $5 an hour work and I multiply it by 14 times, that's $70 an hour. If I do $20 of work and multiply it 14 times, but that becomes $280 an hour. I need to average about my, my, I bill myself like an attorney at $400 an hour. So I try to calculate myself out that way. So again, the math is the quantity of people you talk to times the quality of that interaction times the leverage. That's the power of one to many. And then obviously there's a difference between doing work and creating a process that lives on past you. Meaning, last night I host a, if you're in Los Angeles, love to have you come to Brew Real Estate. I invite real estate agents in the area to come. I buy you a free beer for a real estate agent and you either register or give me a card. And I had 20 people show up and it's fun. I sit there for a couple hours. I have a nice beer, talk to people about real estate, my favorite topic, talk about other things. But the marketing of that's all automated. I spent a couple hours to set it up. And the invitations go out and the reminders go out and I just show up, put down my credit card, buy, get the tickets and buy people beer. I don't do anything other than that for that event because the process is leveraging me. Same with YouTube. When you put a YouTube video on, you know, if it stays on for a while, it's YouTube's doing the work for you. They're hosting it. They're pushing out to people they think will like it. People are watching it. And so in, in average for me, each minute I spend doing YouTube videos today averages about 18 minutes of view time. We I mean, have about one to 18 ratio. I hope you liked that video clip. If you want to see more clips from this interview, you can click here. If you see the whole interview, click here.